Hello and welcome to today's daily report market videos with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech on Tuesday, 30th of July. Um, the uh, markets are fairly much in consolidation mode, I think, ahead of the Fed. But you look at how um, the sterling has been under significant pressure. Um, this Brexit situation is not looking all that great, considering the rhetoric that we're getting out of the um, the new Prime Minister uh, Boris Johnson and his team. It certainly looks as though that they are um, sort of ramping up the uh, potential for a no-deal Brexit and subsequently the market is significantly pricing that um, move towards either a, a no-deal Brexit or a general election because they are the two most likely scenarios and both of which are sterling negative. So subsequently we are seeing sterling underperforming quite significantly um, and uh, that certainly fell yesterday sterling um that was 2380 was the original support that's been smashed out of the water back towards 21 figure area which is the next basis of support um a little bit of a intraday bounce and i'll talk about the implications of how this all plays out on sterling but certainly at the moment the outlook looks pretty negative doesn't it aside from that there's a basically a bit of a consolidation very slight amount of um of dollar strength um nothing too significant though um, in front of the Fed meeting tomorrow, um, we've got uh, euro basically flat, a little bit of uh, Canadian dollar underperformance along with the Aussie and the Kiwi. But generally speaking, the, um, the markets are fairly much consolidated. There is a little bit of yen direction as well. The, we had the Bank of Japan um, monetary policy meeting um, today as well. And uh, it was interesting that um, they've just adopted a bit of a wait and see approach, really. You've got, um, uh, there was a prospect um, that they could have um, or sorry could have uh, changed their forward guidance and pushed it out them um, their current forward guidance is um, to maintain levels uh, on rates until at least spring uh, at least through and around spring 2020 now they could have pushed that out but they didn't um, they're gonna um, they say they're not gonna hesitate um, to uh, take additional easing measures, but at the moment they're not doing it. So subsequently we've seen the yen slightly gaining ground a bit today, but nothing too significant. We've seen gold price basically flat, a um, little bit of a tick higher on oil, but I'll show you that's not really done a great deal to change the narrative at the moment. We've got WTI ticking towards a little bit of resistance, 54, uh, 54, 65, uh, sorry, 57, 65 area and a little bit higher on uh, Brent crude, but nothing really that changes the outlook yet. Um, we have got a fair bit of data today to watch out for. Um, so some, uh, that starts at 10 o'clock with the Eurozone economic sentiment gauge. Uh, and that's um, going to be, that's expected to deteriorate again to 102.6. So continues to uh, look pretty negative on that economic sentiment gauge there for the Eurozone. Um, we've got core PCE for the states, that is the Fed's preferred inflation gauge, um, and that's expected to tick higher to 1.7%, so up from 1.6%, where uh, which it's been at for the last couple of months. Um, and uh, that would that would be, uh, again, a little bit dollar supportive potentially this afternoon, but I think the market's looking towards the, the, the Fed tomorrow rather than the PCE today. Um, we've also got the um, consumer confidence for the US. Now it's, it's expected to pick up quite, this, um, quite uh, impressively to 125. Um, and you see here of uh, consumer confidence just threatened to roll over a little bit uh, in the last couple of months, but um, picking back up to 125 would stabilise that a little bit, similarly to what we've seen on the Michigan sentiment, really. Um, so that's uh, that's the data we've got to look forward to today. Pending home sales as well at three o'clock, expected to sh show growth in the month of 0.5%. Uh, so my chance today is FTSE 100. There is a very good positive, uh, sorry, very good negative correlation between FTSE and sterling. Sterling under significant pressure yesterday, falling um, well below support. And what do we see? We saw FTSE 100 outperforming quite significantly to the upside. And we're seeing that outperformance today, although FTSE is back off the day highs, originally pushing out to 7727. Um, so it's unwound about sort of 30 odd pips, uh, sorry, 30 odd ticks from there. But certainly the um, given the fact that the DAX is a percent lower today, 
you can see that uh, FTSE 100 continues to outperform as sterling continues to fall. So that sterling under uh, sterling weakness in equals FTSE outperformance. And you look at how FTSE has been pulling higher within this uptrend channel. It just, um, again, a breakout of this um, mini trading range. You've seen this happen before. We saw it back in June, where we saw the break to the upside and then uh, continued to move higher. We've seen another breakout, which implies about 150 ticks of upside. So 7,770 would be the implied target area um, for this breakout. And if you actually look at how FTSE was in back in August 2018, the resistance was around 7,790. So that suggests that we could see a, a tick higher towards that if the market does continue to push on. So this is um, an impressive uh, impressive breakout on FTSE and you'd be looking at using 7,620 uh, as a basis of support, that breakout. But 7,600 to 7,620 is this nice breakout area of support now on FTSE. So any un uh, any unwinding or any weakness, I think, is a chance to buy. You've got the hourly chart, which is a little bit stretched as the market has just slipped back a touch. But as I said, any weakness that unwinds you back towards seven, um, uh, 7,620 to 7,600, I think is a buying opportunity on FTSE 100. So I wish you good luck in your trading today. Uh, you can... Uh, Click here to subscribe to my YouTube videos or you can go to our website where you can join up to our trading webinars and I will speak to you soon. Thank you.